Hey guys, welcome back to Emolition. I'm Emma, this is Emolition, and today is a very strange day because we're doing a very out of character vlog. <laughs> First of all, I don't know how vloggers do this because my arm aches and I'm shaking. How do people hold the camera for this long? I have no idea. Today is so exciting because I am going to be unboxing my first gaming PC. Yeah, it arrived while I was away the other day, so we're going to unbox it and hopefully set it up together now. So let's do that. I think while I'm doing this too, I'll give you like a mini tour of my office because I don't think I've ever done that before, but I need to be careful not to get my day job desk in, which is right next to me because there's like sensitive documents and things on there. So I'm going to omit that area of the room and we're just going to look at the gamer area of the room if that's cool with you. So here is the box with the PC in it. I was very careful to not dox myself. Um, I almost started filming just with my address plain as day, which would have been a travesty. Um, this is a shelf that's behind me. It's not on, I'm gonna turn it on. Bear with me. So yeah, we have some real artifacts on here. Um, from the good old days and some newer ones too, uh, namely the Lego tall neck, um, my first PlayStation, a lava lamp, which should get going soon. I think it's on. Um, it's hard to tell because it's the middle of the day. Uh, my PS4, my PS2, my first N64, a little Vault Boy, um, standard neon sign. I usually set this to pinky purple because it's gamer, gamer vibes. My friends got me this. Congratulations, Emolition, for passing 400 subscribers back last year. I think that was like May time, perhaps. Um, and that's Pride of Place because I just think that's so sweet, <laughs> so thoughtful. Um, so yeah, until I get my own YouTube plaque, that's the one I have for now. <laughs> And I also put these Death Stranding books next to the Jewel Sense box because they are the same colors and I just think that's funny. Um, also, this Bulbasaur looks a bit dirty. It's because it's 20, um, 25 years old. My mum won that for me from a grab machine in Blackpool. Yeah, I think I was like two, maybe three years old and my mum won this for me from a grab machine. <laughs> So that's why it looks a bit skanky because it's been in the loft for a lot of my life. Um, but now he's pride of place. I have washed him. I don't know what that stain is. Dread to think. <laughs> One of the last things on here is my Jigglypuff backpack that I used to use when I was in primary school. And then I wonder why I got bullied. <laughs> it's like official. It's amazing. I used to love this thing. Um, not a lot of space in it for like adult stuff. It's kind of creepy actually, just like rip his back open. Yeah, maybe I'll bring it back, who knows. I can take you on a tour of my desk when we get the PC out, but I think we should just open the PC now because that's probably why you clicked on this video, so. Damn, that's sharp. <laughs> it is. PC specialists who are the sponsors of today's video, would you believe? I don't know what this is. Um, I think we've had like 50 angles during this because I just don't know where to put everything. But so PC specialist, this sounds nuts and bolty. Oh, sweet. Okay. Cables. Ooh. Republic of Gamers. Keychain. So people know I'm an epic gamer. Cool. It looks heavy. It looks heavy. Um, right, I might put my back out doing this. It's bloody massive. It is bloody massive. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm, um, I bought a new desktop 
from Ikea two days ago with an extra 20 centimeters of width so I could fit a PC and a PS5 on my desk and now I'm thinking I should have got a lot more centimeters. It's on there, done, don't have to plug it in, it's just there for vibes. Um, first of all, wow, um, wow. It's, um, it's certainly beautiful, like, oh, I'm gonna film me peeling this off just for you guys, because I know that this shit is so satisfying. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ooh, that's good. And there's more. <laughs> There's more Peely here and um, some instructions, I guess. Um, oh, please read. We use a foam insert to keep all components safe from damage during transit. Before you use your PC for the first time, please follow the instructions below to ensure that all packaging is removed from inside your PC. Unscrew the side panel, remove the foam insert, replace and secure the side panel. Turn on your new PC. Okay, that can't be too hard. Let's do it. Oh, hi, Cola. <laughs> More Peely for you. Whew. Mm-mm. Whoa, this is so cool. <laughs> Damn, I can see myself. So PC specialists have very kindly included a welcome booklet all about PCs and the different terminology and stuff which I'm definitely going to need. The last PC I had was like the shared family PC as a kid, the one that you, you know, kind of turn on with your toe that's on the floor um, that I just used to play like Sims on. So I haven't had a PC since then so this is my first like proper PC so um, I'm gonna set this up now, I'm gonna plug it in I think this is going to get quite complicated with all my wires and stuff and all the space so I'll try and film as much of it as I can but if I don't manage to get it all in then see you in a sec with hopefully this turned on. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It also completely didn't occur to me until yesterday that I'm going to need a keyboard and mouse, obviously for my PC. <laughs> so I got one of Amazon. I really want the Logitech cloud one with the cute cloud um, wrist rest thingy, but um, it's 150 quid and I just don't have the funds right now. So I got one that looks kind of similar. Um, so hopefully that will be fine. Um, and my mouse hasn't arrived yet. So I will probably have to take a pause. Um, According to Santa Bezos, it will arrive at 2.15. It's currently half 12, so I'm gonna get as far as I can with setting things up and then um, I'm gonna have to come back um, with the mouse, which is just very bad planning for me. Oh, I also got a headphone stand for my um, headphones. <laughs> Cause they just look a mess. Like I normally hang them on my microphone thing, um, which just looks silly, but this one's quite smart. It was seven pounds, which is so good by Newbie. Um, and it's just like a white one. So I'll put that together and, and do that in a minute. But I got a CIV mechanical keyboard, um, which is really pretty. So I'm just gonna get this out. It's just a white keyboard, but I think it's quite pretty. So yeah, and it's RGB, as all good things should be. So...
Coco. <laughs> it's really hard. Ta-da! Cool. Gonna try and plug this in now, so wish me luck. Right guys, this is the current situation. I'm gonna try and fix this, wire it all up, and then I will show you how it looks in a hot sec. Um, Cause right now it's a lot of stuff and I don't know where to put it all. So this is what we have so far, people. I feel like it's okay. The problem is the glass is this side and I wanna be able to look at it, but there is more space on this side. <laughs> So the PS5 has lots of space and then that's just kind of, that's me now. I don't know how sustainable this is going to be, but it's, it's what we're working with. So we're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> I am a little bit scared. It's going to like blow up when I turn it on. I'm sure it won't. Obviously no disrespect to PC specialists. It's more about my, um, my own stupidity. <laughs> so let's try and get it on. All right. This one? Nothing happened. <laughs> Luke just pressed a button while I wasn't filming and something happened. There's two on switches. <laughs> I think it's like a... Okay. Now we're ready to go. Whoa! Okay guys, oh my God, that was a mission. I have been putting this setup together with Luke and sorting out all the cables for what time did i say it was earlier 11 it's now half one my mouse still didn't get here so i'm having to use my one from work but i'm finally set up the pc is on i've just um installed windows and got all that sorted as well so it lives it turns on so let's have a look together and then have a quick chat about pc specialists as well who made this video possible so yeah let's do that now so this is where we're at. Um, I've got this really bougie keyboard. Um, there's no need for it to be this flashy. I just thought it was cute. And yeah, my comparatively tiny monitor, which yeah, has made me realize I need to upgrade <laughs> really quite badly. But this is cozy. This is very cozy. Okay, now we're set up. I just want to tell you guys about PC Specialist and of course Intel who made this video possible and who kindly gifted me this insane PC. I can't believe how lucky I am because I could never get anything like this for myself. Like this is just completely out of the realms of possibility for me. So yeah, it feels like 25 thousand Christmases have come at once. So thank you PC Specialist. Um, they are one of the leading manufacturers in Europe for custom PCs, laptops, all your PC gaming needs. I didn't really know a lot about gaming PCs as you know. Um, so they very kindly assisted me in knowing what I needed for this build. So I will move on to that in a minute and let you know what's actually in this. But um, yeah, if you know what you're doing, unlike me, they do have a custom PC configurator on their website where you can configure everything you need for your PC, everything you want, uh, graphics card, processors, everything like that. And then they put it together for you. So I wasn't sure um, if they would. So when they sent me a list of everything they were gonna put in this PC, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to build this. But then they give you regular email updates about like the professionals are putting your PC together now and the professionals are testing your PC. And I was like, thank God, because if I had to put this together myself, there would be no PC right now. I wouldn't have been able to do it, I don't think. Maybe one day 
but not right now, so. Okay guys, I'm gonna quickly run through some of the specs, but I will put this in the description as well. So put down that pen and paper, there's no need to take notes. So first of all, I'm really excited to say that my PC is powered by an Intel Core 12th gen processor, which means it's gonna be very, very smooth for running all the games, especially Elden Ring. We have an ASUS ROG Strix Z690A motherboard, 64GB Corsair Vengeance RAM, 10GB NVIDIA GeForce RTX 380 graphics card. God, this is a lot of numbers and letters, isn't it? 4 terabyte Seagate Ironwolf Pro storage drive, which I'm really excited about because I've used Seagate storage drives pretty much exclusively for as long as I can remember. So thank you, PC specialist, for that. I'll pop the rest of the specs on the screen and down below, like I said, but yeah hell of a pc at this point i've moved my camera around so much that i don't think this is even level anymore i think i'm on a slant one more awesome thing is that pc specialists have given me a discount code so if you need anything for your pc setups you get 30 quid off i'll obviously put the link in the description but the code is emma all caps and you get 30 pound off any fixed order so if you need upgrades there's anything you need just pop that in, get some money off, um, you deserve it. <laughs> I'll also put the full list of the build in the description because I appreciate I whizzed through it in the little sexy shots moment. So I'll put that all down there if you're interested. My mouse still hasn't arrived that I was expecting earlier in the video. Um, I'm just gonna... God, it's brighter than I remember. Um... <laughs> I'm just gonna, yeah, let the light back in to say goodbye to you guys because I feel weird just sitting in the dark when I'm not playing any games or anything. <laughs> like I said, it truly is a gift and a privilege to me um, to be gifted something of this level um, by anyone, but yeah, PC specialists and Intel, um, thank you so much. Like I said, I, I could never get anything like this for myself and it, it means a hell of a lot um, that you would, yeah send me this, build me this. Um, I do feel like it's gonna change my life as a gamer and a creator as well. Cause I'm gonna play, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna be able to play games I wouldn't have been able to play before. I'm gonna be able to render quicker, I reckon. And yeah, I just feel like, I just feel so excited to have this. Like, it's freaking massive. It's so big. It's definitely gonna be interesting to see how this comes out as a vlog because I think I started with very good intentions of like unboxing it and putting it together um, on camera. And then I just got really overwhelmed with all the cables and stopped recording for like an hour and a half. So I don't know how it's gonna look, but we'll hope for the best. I'm so grateful to all of you that support this channel and watch this channel because without you, I would never get an opportunity like this to to have something like this and um to be in a position where i can make a video for intel and for pc specialist um so this is down to you guys so um i want to do the best i can with this for you um and play things that you want to see and hopefully improve the content um as well and uh it's going to be powerful so we should be able to record higher quality gameplay than we do now maybe even some 4k action who knows so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tour uh mini tour around the office and me struggling deeply to um put a pc on a desk who knew it would be that hard <laughs> okay guys take care i will see you in the next one